good? Hey, what's good everybody? It's Corey back at Kick Theory again with another early review. So let me take you back for a second. 1996, San Antonio, Texas. Michael Jordan walks out on the floor in these. And the, and the world goes crazy. This is the first time that he ever wore a pair of all-white Jordans on the floor. And it was absolutely, I mean, it, it was an iconic moment for sneaker history. And ever since then, the rest is history for this silhouette. The Jordan 11 goes is one of the most renowned Jordans of all of them. Seems to be one that everyone wants. It's the most sought after. Starting with the box, we've got an OG 11 box here with a twist. They removed the red jump man, replaced it with a blue one for the legend blue here. Got also the normal paper that you will see with an 11. It's, I call it the trash bag paper. It's black, plastic looking paper. And now for the shoe. Starting with the outsole, we've got a semi-translucent blue outsole here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Got the carbon fiber plate in the middle, which is, you know, your Jordan 11 tech. You know, full length zoom air in the Jordan 11 makes it very comfortable. The carbon fiber plate really made it very lightweight and flexible for the court. It was so far ahead of its, ahead of its time as far as performance goes in 1996. So wrapping around from heel to, heel to toe, you've got the patent leather in white, which is gorgeous. And with instead of using the nylon in the, in the, uh, in the, on the side panels here around the eyelets, they used a leather for this particular model. I think it was the only OG that actually did not use ballistic nylon right here, which kind of gives it more of a clean look to me. Uh, they did use that nylon here on the tongue and your classic white rope lacing with the with the blue Jumpman tag there on the tongue. Because it is a low, you do have the small blue Jumpman on the back there with a 23 on the heel. But since it is the 25th anniversary for that game in 1996, they did put a 25 on the insole here to call out that particular game and moment, which is really cool. I love that feature. I kind of do like that it's a low. I'm not a huge fan of lows when it comes to the 11, but Obviously, I, I love this one here. I love UNC colors myself. Uh, but it's it's really cool that they're they're paying homage to that 1996 game when you know they wore those teal you know jerseys with the chili pepper on, and I love those jerseys. But uh, let us know what you think about them. Uh, we're going to release them here at Kick Theory. Follow us on Instagram. We will let you know how they're going to release in the store. All right, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Everybody, stay safe.